This is number four from the 2009 Form B Calc A B exam, and it is one of those area volume problems. So we're given a figure and we're given two curves, so y equals radical x and y equals x over 2. If you look at the figure, you can tell that y equals radical x is actually the uh, top curve, and x over 2 is the bottom curve. And the first question is to find the area of the region R. So we know that's going to be the integral from 0 to 4 because they give us the intersection point of the top curve, which is radical x, minus the bottom curve, which is x over 2, parentheses, and a dx. Um, going to integrate now, reversing the power rule, so plus 1 times the reciprocal. Remember, uh, radical x is x to the 1 half, so add 1, you get 3 halves, and the reciprocal would have been 2 thirds. And then uh, here we just get 1 fourth x squared, evaluated at 0 and 4. Uh, 0 is a really nice bound to have here, because uh, it makes everything 0 out. So we get 2 thirds. If I plug in 4, I have to take the square root, which is 2, and cube it to get 8. Um, minus 1 fourth of 4 squared, which 4 squared is 16, so a fourth of that is 4. Um, save some time by not even squaring it and just canceling the 4s. And then when I plug in 0, I get 0. So my answer is uh, 16 thirds minus 12 thirds, which is 4 thirds. All right, let's move on to part B, which is about volume. Volume with known cross sections. In this case, the cross sections are perpendicular to the x axis and they're squares. So I need to know the area of a cross section. So the area of a square is just the side squared. Here's a little picture of the uh, side, I guess. Um, so the side in this case is top take away bottom, radical x minus x over 2. So the volume is the integral from 0 to 4 of the area formula. So that's side squared and then dx. And I actually have to evaluate this, which is kind of a little surprising. So, square the first, multiply them together to get um, negative x to the 3 halves over 2. Multiply by 2 is just negative x to the 3 halves. Square the last. And dx didn't even integrate it. All right, now I'm going to integrate this. So, plus 1 times the reciprocal, plus 1 times the reciprocal, plus 1 times the reciprocal. And 0 and 4 and 4. Uh, 0 again is good, 4 is not so good. Um, 16 over 2 is 8, and this, we already, uh, we did something like this, so square root of 4 is 2 to the 5th is 32, so this will be minus 64 over 5, and then uh, plus 64 over 12. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, you could simplify it if you want, but I didn't bother. And the next one is right, but do not evaluate. We're going around the line uh, y equals 2, so I'm going to add that to my picture. I'm going to add uh, the big radius and the smaller radius. And volume is pi, the integral from 0 to 4 of, it's going to be, uh, the big radius here is the axis minus the outer curve. So that's going to be 2 minus x over 2, the quantity squared, and then minus. And the inner radius here that I have to square is the axis minus the uh, inner curve. So 2 minus that squared. Um, some parentheses and a dx, and that's all there was to this, so I hope you found it helpful, and good luck.